Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be your daily tarot reading for Wednesday, the 25th of September, 2019. This is for the collective, it is for all signs. I'm pulling from the Guardian Angel Tarot, along with the Goddess Oracle, and I will be using the Pictorial Tarot for your general your daily general messages for today and I will be pulling several tea leaves and I'll be pulling you a universe has your back oracle at the end of your reading so we have three of emotion coming up here thank you spirit what extra messages do you have for us today spirit we have the arts Thank you, Spirit. All right. Wednesday, the 25th, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. All right. Right, we are ready. All right, we have the Ten of Swords, the Fool, Seven of Swords, Judgment, the Hermit, the Devil. The Knight of Wands. And we have the King of Cups. All right. Thank you, Spirit. What extra messages do you have for us? We have Yoke. We have Tortoise. We have well. All right, let's start here. We have three of emotion. Wonderful news is on its way. Announcements regarding engagements, pregnancies, births, or graduations will be revealed. New friends will be made or communities of like-minded people will draw closer to one another. Exciting new beginnings or happy endings are just around the corner. All right, beautiful. So uh, this is a day of celebration, I feel like, and good news. Now we have the arts. Express yourself through creative activities. Some of you may have a new beginning, uh, a creative vision, a fresh start, maybe with a new project, maybe with a new job or a career change. Now we have yoke, feeling tied down or frustrated. We have tortoise, slowly but surely getting ahead. Always remember, slow and steady wins the race. Now we have well, great worry over nothing. So for those of you that have really been stressing out or, or worrying or are in that kind of eight of swords type of energy spirit wants you to know that things may be moving uh, a bit slowly but it's only because divine timing is playing at hand here and you need to release all of that worry you need to give it to spirit give it to your angels give it to your spirit guides all right so we have the ten of swords clarified by the hermit the Ten of Swords is an energy of completion. Whatever this was to you, this could have literally been somebody that was toxic in your environment or maybe at work, a significant other. Um, this could be a completion of a cycle where there has been enlightenment gains here. You're at a turning point. 
The Ten of Swords oftentimes represents that there's nowhere to go but up from here. And it's very important that you take the lessons learned from this cycle and, you know, put that in your spiritual tool belt so you can use that knowledge in the present and in the future to keep repeating anything that you don't want repeated in your life. Now we have the Hermit, the energy of Virgo coming up here. Again, spiritual enlightenment was gained from completion of this, this cycle here. Okay, so this is you pausing and reflecting, going into hermit mode to figure out which direction to go in. Um, this also represents that you are gaining patience within yourself and within the process. And when you do that, it allows for you to have an inner peace within. Now we have the full, clarified by the devil. The Fool is a very positive energy. This talks about you starting a new journey, a new beginning. This talks about you having a free spirit, trusting in the universe. There's a need for you to take a leap of faith and believe in yourself. I, I feel with the devil, the energy of Capricorn coming up here, uh, clarifying this new beginning here, that there's something that you need to let go of. Uh, and like I said, this could definitely be a way of thinking, a mindset. This could be a toxic relationship, um, maybe toxic people in your life. Whatever is keeping you feeling like you're bound or restricted or limited, it, it needs to. you need to let go of it so you can start this new beginning and start your new journey. Now we have the Seven of Swords, clarified by the Knight of Wands. The Seven of Swords, this most definitely because you do have the Ten of Swords in your reading as well. Someone could have stolen something from you. Um, there could have been a loss of some type. There could have been lies. There could have been deception. Uh, I feel for the majority, though, this is you uh, gaining knowledge through research, getting organized. Uh, some of you may be taking classes. You may be thinking about changing your career. And there's a need for you to really look in uh, to what it is that you're wanting to move towards so you don't overlook anything. Because we do have two energies here. Uh, you know, the caution with the Knight of Wands is to make sure that whatever you're taking a risk on, whatever you're jumping into, that you have all that passion and desire about, that you don't overlook anything. And this is the energy of Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Now we have Judgment, clarified by the King of Cups. Judgment is a beautiful energy. This talks about you going through a major transformation. All right, you're, you're ending a cycle. This is the energy of having rite of passage, second chances. Like I said at the beginning, there's a need for you to take all those uh, lessons from uh, challenges and obstacles that you've been through uh, and turn it into wisdom all right so you can tap into that so there's no repeating of anything that you don't want repeated in the present or in the future you know once you go through this major transformation it allows you to transition into this new beginning and this is beautiful you have the king of cups clarifying that energy cancer scorpio pisces what I love about this is, is that this tells me that you're very balanced at this time. The King of Cups represents having emotional stability, okay? So that's a very grounded, it's a very balanced energy. You have complete control over your emotions and what you're working towards here. So this also represents a great deal of wisdom that you hold within yourself. For many of you, you are very generous and you're also very supportive. All right, three of emotion. Wonderful news is on its way. Announcements regarding engagements, pregnancies, births, or graduations will be revealed. New friends will be made, or communities of like-minded people will draw closer to one another. Exciting new beginnings or happy endings are just around the corner. And what's beautiful about it is you do have an ending here, but you also have a beautiful beginning starting. 
the arts, express yourself through creative activities. And I feel whatever this new beginning has uh, to offer in your situation, it's all about that creative vision that you have now. And it's allowing you to move forward. Now, yoke, some of you may be feeling tied down or frustrated. So if you are, there's a need to ground yourself. You have tortoise here, slowly but surely getting ahead. All right, that is slow and steady progress. So that's very positive. Spirit also wants you to know with well coming up here, great worry over nothing. Okay, so there may be a need for you to speak your intentions to your angels, to your spirit guides, to maybe help uh, relieve some of that anxiety or worry that you've been carrying around. It's time to complete this cycle here of this Ten of Swords, whatever that energy is for your for you in your situation. You know, you're at a turning point where spiritual enlightenment is gained. You're taking time out to go into hermit mode and pause and reflect before moving forward, which is very positive. You have this beautiful new journey, uh, and it's talking about taking that leap of faith and trusting in yourself as well as spirit. There is a need to let go of something that's not good for you. It's toxic. Like I said, this could be a way of thinking. This could be people that may be around you. Um, but it, it needs to be like, you need to let go of it before you start this new beginning is what Spirit is saying here. For some of you, this could be letting go of somebody that was very deceitful, may have stolen from you. I feel for the majority, this is talking about you getting organized. You know, really gaining a lot of knowledge in this new beginning, what you're fixing to start. And making sure you're not overlooking. And because, you know, the Knight of Wands represents having a lot of enthusiasm and passion and excitement about what you're taking action on. So it's very important that you don't get so caught up in the moment of, you know, the excitement you overlook something. And then you have judgment here. This is that rite of passage. Um, this is... You know, you being able to close out this chapter in your book of life and start this new beginning. Take the past lessons, take them with you, put them, store them in your well of wisdom that you have. And I feel like you really have a uh, level head on your shoulder, especially with the King of Cups clarifying this energy and being the last card here. This tells me that you are in control over your emotions which is very important thank you so much spirit all right all right so we have the more energy and intention i bring to my faith the more fearless and free i am beautiful there is nothing sexier than my authentic truth. Beautiful. All right. Please leave me a comment. Let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation. I love each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much for being here. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, everyone.